A score for motion picture is a piece of architecture, like the film itself, and it should have a shape and a form. And you look to where you're going to finally, where, where's the high point, so that you don't top yourself in the middle of the picture when you, so you still have somewhere to go at the very end of the picture. It was interesting on Alien, I remember when I had meetings with them in, in, in the production office, there were boards, storyboards, but there were directions emotionally to how it, the levels of emotion and terror were building in the picture, which I'd never seen before or after that. But the, it was sort of plotted that how this was going to build in terror, which was very interesting and an interesting way of doing it. So they were very careful. I think Ridley was very careful how he structured the film from that point of view. The music I wrote for Alien was very interesting. It was avant-garde. It, 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 it's the kind of film that allowed me as a composer to stretch to try various different effects, musical ideas with an orchestra. The picture allowed me to do it. The picture was so visually striking. The set design by Giger was this sort of surrealistic sets. And it, was, it was a wonderful image and to try and translate that emotionally into music. Then it was a strange juxtaposition of the, of the characters who were really sort of rough and tumble, you know, dirty, uh, unsophisticated people against this very sophisticated backdrop, visual. And they, they made a very interesting palette for me to try and write music to. The problem on, I had on that film was that I had one, one feeling, and I think the director had the, another feeling, and obviously the director perhaps was correct. In the first place, I thought, this is the most disgusting lot of people, this whole crew, that, I mean, they were totally unlikable, and I, I didn't care whether, you know, the fact that they all got killed was fine by me because they were rather disgusting people. And the only one I really started to feel sympathy for was the monster, quite frankly. Uh, and I thought, nobody's going to see this picture because nobody likes anybody. I mean, a scruffy lot, and they were... You know, who cared? Well, I was wrong on that count. Mm -hmm.